March 11, 2003, marked a milestone in military history. At Eglin Air Force Base in Florida, the United States tested a new superweapon. MOAB, short for Massive Ordnance Airburst, quickly became known as the mother of all bombs. This massive weapon creates a blast radius stretching a mile in each direction. The MOAB is made out of an aluminum skin, a very thin aluminum skin. And the reason we did it that way was in order to maximize the blast effect. We did not want the airframe of the bomb to interfere with the development of a blast wave that has the impact to the target. The world's largest non-nuclear weapon, MOAB is over 30 feet long and weighs more than 21,000 pounds. It's no easy task to accurately maneuver such a behemoth through the skies toward its target. Engineers overcame the challenge with a grid fin design that provides great aerodynamic lift. Uh, during carriage, these four grid fins are folded forward onto the bomb in order that it makes a very compact uh, design for carriage. When the weapon is deployed, out the back end of the C-130, the fins are subsequently deployed with aerodynamic assisting in the deployment because the wind is coming from the forward of the bomb. Uh, once it's in its flight configuration, as it is shown here, it is then able to control the bomb and fly it to its designated target. Although Moab was fast-tracked for Operation Iraqi Freedom, the lack of enemy resistance kept it grounded. But its successful test run served chilling notice of a powerful new force. The largest guided bomb in the history of the world with the tremendous impact and detonation of this explosive really just shook the area. And the shockwave could be heard for miles and miles. 